Should I not refer to the food as farty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like an accident. What? Mm -hmm. So the glaze is probably burning. <laughs> What salt? We cook with the white we salt. Use the Yorkshire okay. puddings? Hard no. Hard no. Where are the Yorkshire puddings? <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends has baked beans with their roast. Oh, oh, yes. oh, no. 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 We've been sent a hamper from nice. Wise Wolf Wines. Wow, this, this is, is nice. nice looking bottles. Very nice. Dear Mob. We're sorting out with the wine this Christmas, but we've also got a challenge for you. Oh, exciting. Mm. We want to see if you can make the perfect family Christmas meal. However, you've got to do it by no more than 20 ingredients. 20. 20. You may also choose five store cupboard staples. The rest is up to you. Good luck. Love your friends at Wise Wolf Wine. <laughs> What's well, salt? Does that count? Can we cook with the wine? Is salt one of the five? No. I think we've got a pick. I think we should go black. Oh, you're right there, Okay, Hey, don't worry, everyone. Okay, okay. Chaos. Okay, so. Turkey. Potatoes. We're doing a dessert, right? Sprouts. Carrots. Carrots. Parsnips. Cabbage is not traditional. Parsnips. Cabbage is not traditional. Cabbage? Yeah. <laughs> red what? cabbage. Oh, Stuffing. Red, red cabbage. Stuffing. Absolutely. Sausages. Sausages. Okay. Sausages. Maybe we need bacon. Gravy. Yes. And we can use the wine. They've sent us the wine. Yeah. Onions. Sausages. Garlic. Oranges. Great shout. White bread. bread. Then you can blitz it up for breadcrumbs. Yeah. Are we doing bread sauce? Yeah. Bread sauce. Delicious. Delicious. I would bring them in. Oh, I like bread sauce. We need Cranberries. Cranberries. It's all covered. We need salt. We need to write down salt. Salt, before we forget it. <laughs> salt yeah. olive salt oil, butter. Need. She's come and take it over my Pepper. Oh, sorry, yeah. Elves. Sorry, Elves. That's okay. the competitive spirit's coming out already. Okay, <laughs> idea. Let's get cream and we make can use cream butter. to cook with and make butter. That's really smart. Whoa. Let's do that. That's smart. Uh, that Yorkshire gets. puddings, hard no. Yorkshire puddings, hard, hard no. Hard no. Do not live on a Christmas dinner. That's Christmassy. Mm. Oh, maybe we could poach something. Maybe. Pears, pears. Poach pears? Pears. Okay, let's do, because pears, we could put pears in the stuffing too. Yes, yes, yes. So excited yes. about pears. Pears. Can we make a crumble of some sort? Do we need some oats? Do we need mustard? There's no, there's no red there's cabbage. No red cabbage. There's no it's not traditional. No one got that. A it's braise. cauliflower, that's why. Oh. Parmesani sprouts. Let's make, let's do parmesan. Parmesani sprouts. Let's use parmesan. But we can also make parmesan roast potatoes. Yeah. What are we doing herb-wise? Sage, uh, rosemary, bay. I have a bay tree. Can I just bay. go to my house and get some bay? We're not buying it. <laughs> Does it have to go on this list if it's... Nah, leave the herbs to me. <laughs> the herbs. Oh, hit the shot. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll just yeah. take this. <laughs> I got... How are you feeling about the challenge, George? Yeah, I'm pumped, mate. I'm yeah. just glad it's not strictly a competition for not that festive. I wish it was a competition. <laughs> <laughs>
was your uh, initial reaction to the, the challenge and how you finding it? I was a bit worried that 20 greens didn't sound like very much. We didn't have room for any of those wintry spices, your nutmeg, lots of herbs, all that kind of thing. But actually, now we've got into it, there's a lot of ingredients that do a lot of work across different Christmas dishes. Oh, as soon as the top of the pear bit snaps off... Game over. Game over, it's a lot harder to peel. It's all downhill from here. It's all gone pear-shaped. How am I going to prepare it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We're going to grate it. Easy. That's a great idea. Grated pear, chopped chestnuts, chopped up sage, and then I've got some breadcrumbs. So, what's your uh, Christmas song of choice? Definitely. Driving home for Christmas. Chris Rea is probably my range, which is alarming for a five foot two woman, but <laughs> that's the way it is. I've got all these um, caramelised onions that we've just cooked for ages and ages in some butter with some rosemary, some garlic. I'm going to add a scoop of this. Next, we're going to go orange zest. Big dollop of that in there. A really good pinch of salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to go in with my hands because it's basically impossible to mix this with a spoon and get all the ingredients fully incorporated. Easy peasy, and then we're just going to mold that into a little square tin. All we're gonna do is add some of those onions on top as well. So that's our stuffing. You got the crispy sausage textures, you got soft sausage textures, you got the chestnuts, the herbs, the orange, super fragrant, very easy. Into the oven. We are gonna cheat an ingredient and we're gonna get two ingredients out of this cream. I'm gonna pour into this, whip it, and if you keep whipping it, it will split into butter and buttermilk. Okay, it's starting to look like butter now. And it's gonna change sound as well. It's gonna go from like smooth whipping to it's gonna sound like it's slapping around in there. Oh yeah, there she Can you goes. Hear that? Whoa, ta-da. So this has still got lots of this buttermilk in it. So it's still quite wet. We basically now wanna wash this butter. You chuck it into a bowl of icy water. So I'm just gonna be like massage this staying nice and firm because it's very cold and the more I massage it the more of the butter is going to come out of the butter and you basically just want to keep doing this changing the water until the water's clear and then you're done because sometimes your oven can get a little bit full on the big day what we're going to do is we're going to braise our carrots on the top here so what I've done is I've put them in this big saucepan here and then what we're going to do is we're going to add 100 grams of butter I know that this looks a bit weird but this is a delicious way of cooking carrots because as the water reduces down and the butter all melts into it, you get this kind of gorgeous silky glaze that comes all across all the carrots. And we're going to baste them whilst they're cooking. How do you feel about being on carrot duty? Personally, I think the roasted vegetables, especially these vegetables, are really the king of the meal. They're the star of the show. People are like, oh, the turkey, meh. Potatoes, yeah, okay, fair enough, and stuffing, fair. For topping for carrots, what I've made here is this OT crumble. So the other topping, because you know, these really are the star of the show here. We're gonna make a carrot top pesto. So I'm gonna use these carrot tops, some Parmesan, I've roasted some of the almonds, and some olive oil. We would usually put in some lemon zest, but we are without lemons here. And drop some acidity from vinegar. I could add a bit of vinegar, I'm gonna taste it in a, once it's got its first little blitz. I'm gonna see it. A little bit of vinegar for acidity. I'm going to add a generous pinch of salt and pepper. So we're going to let our carrots cook down. They're going to take probably another 40 minutes or so. Jordan put rosé in the cranberry, which is really nice. That was oh, unbelievable. That was awesome. yeah, it's very easy. It's going to have cranberries, orange yeah. zest, some of the orange juice, a bit of sugar, a bit of vinegar, and then a nice splash of this rosé. First thing I'm going to do, whoa, let's just knock that over. First thing I'm going to do is plug this in. Important first step. And then this is really straightforward. Frozen cranberries, I've got my sugar here, a bit of apple cider vinegar, the wine. This one is from our friends at Wise Wolf, the zest of the orange. Is cranberry sauce your favourite of the Christmas sauces? Yes, I think probably is, because I don't really love bread sauce. What? Mm. Bread sauce is probably the most contentious one. It looks like an accident. <laughs> It also tastes like an accident. This is the kind of texture that I quite like with cranberry sauce, where you've got like a bit of a mix in there. And the last thing we're going to do is take a couple of these nice bay leaves from Ben's garden that he didn't steal. The thieving Someone's going to be like, I think I spotted him like in my garden. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll bring this up to a simmer, and that is it. What other Christmas sauces are there? <laughs> okay, these are our legs. They've been br they've cooked for an hour with the foil on, and then I whip the foil off, and they just cook for another half an hour. And you see they've gone nice and caramelised. 
the uh, wine and the stock have just come down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is pass the liquid through this sieve into the pan, and then I'm going to add a little bit of the glazy roasting juices from the crown, and we're going to make this beautiful gravy. So I'm just going to bring that to a really gentle simmer. It's going to reduce for about 10 minutes, and that's that. Gravy done. The main event, I don't care what anyone else says, roast potatoes are incontrovertibly, irrefutably, and any other word that means that I'm right, the best part of a Christmas dinner. So what I've got here is some potatoes that I've just peeled, cut up, and then parboiled. I've got my oven preheated and I've got my dish here. And I'm gonna put that straight on the hob. I'll whack it on nice and hot. And then I've got two different types of fat. I've got some of that nice butter that Ben made. And I'm gonna put all of that in there. The reason that you want that to be nice and hot is because you want the potatoes to hit it and like crisp up, a bit like cooking chips, right? When you drop them in a deep fryer, you need that oil to be hot so that it doesn't just soak it up. Do you agree the potatoes are the best? No. It's not the best part <laughs> of the Christmas spread. It's a crucial part. Of it's a good spread. one. I it's not that special. My best bit is uh, maybe the turkey. Of course, and I ain't just because I'm is. doing it. Maybe. I love it, I love it. And you never get to eat it. There's a reason for that. All right, here we go. Okay, and that is great. You want them kind of sizzling like that. So I'm just gonna give these a little toss around so they're evenly coated in the fat. And if you have a look in the tray, you can see that I've got plenty of space between the potatoes. And that's because it means they're gonna cook much more evenly in the oven, get nice and crispy. If you imagine that two potatoes are like next to each other like that, the heat can't get in between. See, they won't be crispy all the way around. I'm going to season them a bit later, but the other important thing that I did is in the water that these were parboiled with, that was seasoned really well with salt, a bit like pasta, right? Straight into there, and we'll come back to those soon. Give them a little shake halfway through. I'm going to drizzle over my oil, and in here I've grated in a few cloves of garlic and picked in some nice fresh rosemary. Then I'm going to grate over my parmesan like that. Toss around, get that nice flavorful oil just kind of mixed all the way through. And then these are gonna go back into the oven for just another few minutes so that all of that oil kind of crisps back up again on the outside of the potato. We want that cheese to melt and then we'll see where they're at. What I've done is I have par roasted them on their backs, so cut side up. And then what I do now is then flip them over to roast them a bit further. So I'm just making a little topping for the parsnip. So I'm using the bacon and I've cut it into little lardons. I'm also gonna fry some sage leaves in the residue bacon fat in the pan. Something I really like to do when, I make, when I'm using root vegetables is to have them raw and roasted because then you have this kind of like charred parsnips and then you have this fresh ribbons of parsnips on top. I'm just gonna peel them into long ribbons, into this little mix I've made, which is apple cider vinegar, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. So it's almost like you're pickling these ribbons of parsnip. I'm gonna leave them in here for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but they'd be fine if they were left in there for an hour or so. These are all the toppings done, and the parsnips are in the oven. In about 10 or 15 minutes, we'll be able to plate them both up, and they can go out with the rest of the team. I've started shredding I've started shredding them already. You want to just get them on their side. So you're getting some whole little segments of sprout because they look quite nice. And then once you turn it on its edge, you can then just get some very fine slices. I'm going to use some of those carrot tops from the carrots that Els is prepping, just to add a bit of greenery. Ideally, I'd love some parsley in here, but we don't have any parsley. So I'm going in with some pear which you want to finely slice these with a knife, not really on a mandolin, or they go a bit thin. And I've just left these in some acidulated water. Normally I do it with lemon, but I've, we don't have any lemons, so I've done it with orange, and that works just the same. That just stops them from going brown. I cut these a little while ago, and definitely not brown yet. So that's works. I'm just going to drain those now and toss those in with the sprouts, as well as some really finely sliced onion. I've got these brown butter almonds that I did. I've made a dressing also out of brown butter. I said this was fresher, but I've put a lot of butter in this, apparently. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got butter in the dressing there, along with some orange juice, mustard, cider vinegar, some sugar, and then I'll give that a really good toss. 
Next day roasted sprout is actually not that good. Can we all agree on that? Bit cold, bit farty. This, no, delicious. <laughs> should, I, should I not refer to the food as farty in the video? A cold spr roasted sprout is farty, please. We can all agree on that, can't we? <laughs> no one wants that. So there you go, fully tossed together. You can give it a little taste, add more salt and pepper at this point if you need. But that is my shredded sprout salad. Crumble time. Best bit, dessert. How many bits have we said for the best oh, I, I love dessert. I have made a little poaching liquid with the cab sav, some sugar, and I'm gonna add some bay leaves. I kind of want this to be almost like mulled wine, but I don't have all the spices that I need to do mulled wine. So I've got my pears in there already. I just peeled those, split them down the middle, and just scoop the core out with a little spoon. So these are gonna poach for probably 10 minutes, just until they're just cooked. I don't wanna to go too far, otherwise we'll have pear and red wine jam. And I'm gonna keep them whole in the crumble. Usually crumble, you chop everything up quite fine and it's almost like a compote. But these you'll get like nice, halves of poached pear coming out. So we don't have flour, and usually with crumble, you'd add butter, sugar, maybe some oats or a nut and flour, and you blitz it up. So I'm just gonna use the white bread instead of flour, and it's gonna give us almost like a cakier, like streusel texture. It's gonna be less kind of dry and crumbly, and more rocky and almost cakey. It's good. And it kind of toasts, and you get that kind of like, toast flavor. So in this bowl, I have the butter that I made earlier, raw almonds, oats, sugar, and the bread. I've got a nice texture here. If I clump it, it goes kind of, see how it goes kind of rocky like that? It sticks together. These pears are done. I'm just gonna pop these in here. What would you eat this with? I like cream, cold cream. I love it with custard, but we don't have custard because we don't have eggs, so. Oh, I think everybody's arriving. Oi. So we'll load these up and then get the rest of the parmesan on. I'm also going to do my palm shower. It's actually the only kind of shower that I... Yeah, the only, the only one the I The only kind do. of shower I ever do. <laughs> Hence the smell. These are as hot as the sun. <laughs> so, Crown's been resting for a little while, and I didn't show you this, but I took the wishbone out. So it's going to make carving look real easy. All right, turkey crown done. Hi, Hello. opening wine Thank for dinner. You. Do you, you want to try some? I'd love to. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we've got turkey crown, braised legs, we've got parsnips, cranberry sauce, roast potatoes, sprout salad, stuffing, pigs in blankets, and roasted carrots. And this is only made with 20 ingredients, if you believe it. What? All of these dishes, 20 no ingredients. Way. All of them, yeah, totally. Yeah. Like two ingredients to me. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. That one was just the two. <laughs> <laughs> one of my friends has baked beans with their roast. Oh, oh, so no, 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 no. Yeah, baked beans on the table. That is absolutely so, terrifying. I know, I know. All no. right, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry it's such a nice Christmas. year working with you all. Oh. Oh. Just silence for everyone each. Whoa. Are you a red or a white person with your Christmas dinner? I think red. 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 The red's so Who's on juicy. The white? White. White. white for me. I like it. Keep it light. That's quite nice for you, yeah. That gravy's special. Was it you, Ben, on the gravy? Yeah, gravy. We cooked the legs with the wine mm. and a little stock. So you get two for one. Legs, gravy, delicious. Mm -hmm. What's your best tip? from making this. That like, was the most interesting use of an ingredient. Do you know what? Soph's pear and the stuffing I loved. Ooh, what? Delicious. Pear See? Yeah. Don't know it's there, but if it wasn't, you'd miss it. Mm. Yeah. Jordan put bit. rose in the cranberry, which was really nice. That was yeah, unbelievable. That was, smart. that was very smart. That was good as well. Okay, desserts. Oh. 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 I think this is maybe the cleverest bit so far. Oh. We've got poached pears and red wine with a nice crumble topping. So it's like two desserts in one. Oh my God, amazing. And then there's a little bit of this extra red wine syrup. Oh. 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 Merry Christmas. Merry 